All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> Everybody to this amalgamation of horror. All right. It came from Gen X. <laughs> came along good. with convincing idiots, and as we expected, the FCC will be all over this. So we are on schedule, <laughs> on track. I'm telling you, wow. They got no jurisdiction here. You guys got some issues. You guys need like a podcast therapist. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure if there's a if there's a uh, opening I- available in the podcast world, Brian will have already filled it. I'm sure he's probably has that position already. <laughs> actually, we producer, um, editor, therapist. Not a lot of people know, but yeah. uh, we actually the three of us saw a podcast therapist, and they said you guys need a divorce. <laughs> oh, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Anyway, hey, you know what? Real quick, we got to give out a little bit of love here. Um, you know, especially uh, it came from Gen X. Our show is produced by the one and only Mike Skinner Jr., aka Jr., aka the boss, the son of our own Mike Skinner. Uh, excellent at what he does with this show, but we really want to show some love because he got married a little over two weeks ago. It was a glorious ceremony. Mm-hmm. One of the most beautiful weddings I've seen in a long time. It was just awesome from top to bottom. Uh, the minister was a little whack, but hey, yeah. what are you going to do? Oh, he was a lot whack. <laughs> and, yeah, a 1 800, 1 800 dollar preacher. What do you expect? But, Take what uh, you can get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but other than that, it was just beautiful, uh, beautiful bride, beautiful ceremony. And we want to tell him how much we love him and proud of him. You did good, son. You did good, boy. Keep that girl close with a shotgun. But uh, also, <laughs> hey, stay in the tradition with the Skinners here. Very special happy birthday to my man, Dave Skinner, Mike's father, Junior's yes. grandfather, one of the coolest dudes Cheers. I know. Uh, had a great time, Mr. Skinner, at the wedding. Kept me laughing. And uh, we want to say happy birthday to you, my man. God bless you. Happy birthday. So, yeah, definitely happy birthday. Yeah, Dave's and, a street shooter. Yeah, he, he really is. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you... Why do you think I have no damn filter? I did, I, that just we didn't know now. No, oh, yes. I figured it out at the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I learned from the best. Absolutely. If we're doing that. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I just want to say, uh, want to say, you know, to Dean, this is the 40th celebration of your bar mitzvah. And Thank we you. are proud. Yes. <laughs> Thank proud you. Of you. Shalom. <laughs> If you if you want proof of circumcision, ask me later. Now, um, since we're giving out uh, uh, shout outs, I do want to um, take this time to shout out uh, Nick's mom, Jennifer. Thank you. What's up? Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> hey, Jenny, Dean, say what's up? What's up? Mom? Mom? <laughs> Guess who's uh, coming to dinner? <laughs> well, I tell you what, he does the reason to go listen to this episode. He's going to think twice about putting yeah, I'm getting rid of both of you. On there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. But shout out to Des and Boss Code Media for having us yeah, as part of his Skinner. creation. He's a great dude, good friend, and uh, sky's the limit with this guy. Yeah, hey, absolutely. Very good. And I, I, I do want to be serious and uh, give one more shout out. Um, I know we've made jokes throughout uh, this whole episode, and I know you guys are waiting for the punchline, but I do want to sincerely thank uh, Brian 
you you, you put a lot of work in all this and I and I know it's not going to make you his favorite. It's too show. late, so you can <laughs> and cut the I shit. I don't care. Not... I, I I could be I could be last on the list, but I do honestly want to tell Brian how much I do appreciate him, and I, I know you, all of you. you. Yeah, likewise. I, I tell him all the Thank time. Thank you. And he does an amazing job. Yeah. Right. Yep. You 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 put a lot of work into stuff, stuff that we don't even know. So I I'm and if you play this back, I'll deny that it's me saying this, um, going forward. But as of this <laughs> moment, Brian, thank you. Can I say that Absolutely. Right yeah. Well, thank I you for mentioning it. No, it's it's uh it's you know, it's my pleasure. It's 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 a it's a creative outlet for all of us. And uh, like I said, it's it's a it's a great thing for me to stay connected with you guys. And uh, you know, the hope is you know as we all share the same hope that somebody listens and we give them a smile and something and and uh, yeah. So. Thank yeah, you. you know, thank maybe you. maybe and, we give them a smile. They give us like a hundred bucks or something. You know, yeah, something like that. Could. That's they a nice could. exchange. There's yeah. means I, to I do that. Hand stuff behind it in the alley. That's so, right. yeah, you know, I'm good. But they're not anything. even listening to the podcast. They're just going straight to the end step. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's fair. There's means to do that on our site. Like you said, on both uh, both sites, you can uh, donate if you wish or whatever. But uh, not the hand know, stuff with Dean. You have to arrange that with him personally. Yeah, yeah. Just to, to clear up anything. Now, yeah. that's free, but you just have to arrange it through. Actually, uh, a lot of the time, it's just a wide stance like in a, in a uh, public bathroom. Right, so, right. Um, <laughs> oh, but yeah, thanks, thanks for mentioning that. So I, I appreciate that. Absolutely, and I'll, I'll mention something else as well. So you know, Skinner's here with me. So uh, next week is our birthday. The next week, both of our birthdays yep. are in the same yes. week. Skinner's is the nineteenth, and mine's the twenty second. So we'll mm. you know we'll, we'll get together for that uh, next week. So it'd be nice to see everybody for that. But uh, yeah, so. Christmas birthday, guys, That'd right be here. Great. That is yes, us. There you go. Happy birthday, yeah. you guys. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. We've got another week, thank but you, it's going to be a great celebration. I am going to sacrifice and come out, hang out with the fellas. It'll be good. Very good. Yeah, I'll be glad to see you. Keith, you're going to be there? Oh, yeah. Okay, I wasn't going to come, so, but yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. I worked it out with my parole officer. Oh, uh, good, good, good. <laughs> ankle, ankle bracelets and white chalk. <laughs> But I can't come. Yes, <laughs> that's a hell of a backdrop they give you in there too. That's a uh, real nice. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Andy speaking, Dufresne. Sorry. It's being chalked. Uh, if you pull that curtain back, it's you know there's a hole being uh, created. <laughs> oh, you don't know what's back behind that thing. <laughs> you heard the, the other side of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that hole's <laughs> glorious. <laughs> Oh, that was cheap. <laughs> well, guys, speaking of, speaking of parties, okay, speaking of birthday parties and Christmas parties and all that, so that is our our final segment is like a Christmas party segment. Mm-hmm. So we're all at a Christmas party, and what what is it? What's there for you? What are you bringing? What do you want to hear? What do you want to see? So, do you have a particular Christmas song by a particular artist that is that you need to hear every Christmas season? It could be multiple ones, obviously. Mm-hmm. What type of food are you looking for? That's a tradition for you at Christmas time. Uh, what type of you know? What movies do you want to see? If there's a room where Christmas movies are being played, what movies do you expect to see that is in your rotation every single year? Is there a TV special? So just stuff like that. So just Christmas. We're not to do you know, sections necessarily, but just you know, you could talk about a song or a oh, movie yeah. or whatever it is uh, that you want to see at our uh, uh, convincing idiot slash it came from Gen X Christmas party. So <laughs> it's a like Christmas spectacular. If, if I may, I, I'm mm-hmm. gonna set the. I'm gonna I'm gonna paint you a little picture here. I'm gonna set mm-hmm. a vibe for you. Okay, please, please do. I like to think I'm gonna I'm gonna arrive fashionably late, right? I like to think in my head, you know, as in, you in always the scenario do. I'm painting. Absolutely. Uh, you, you four gentlemen are already there at the party, and I pull up, right? Everybody... Oh no, I'm black. I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be there 45 minutes after you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay so maybe i wait till a little bit later and i'm even later than keith right Every, but everybody's there i pull up you look out the front window who is it who's arriving it's nick and what's he pulling up on well my god he is on this stylish 
state of the art, sleek as shit electric bike, and everybody clamors around the window yeah. and they go, Nicholas, where did you get this ride? Oh my gosh. And I go, guys, wow. fellas, fellas, what if I could tell you that you too could make it on Santa's nice list this year and score your very own electric bike? Hey, uh -huh. after all, we live in Northeastern Ohio. Carrollton, right. Ohio is not too far from here. Nope. All you have to do is hit up our friends at RPM Bike Shop. That's right. All you have to do is give them a call, 330-808-7792. You can also, if you're watching us on Facebook right now, go up to that little search bar up there, type in RPM Bike Shop. They're the ones in Carrollton, Ohio, with all the sweet-ass electric bikes for all your electric biking needs. They also have a website, rpmbikeshop.com. Easy enough to remember, eh? Go over there, see all of the products that they have available for you, and you too can pull up to your local Christmas party in style. Yeah, as long as you don't live in Northeast today. Ohio. From yeah, Carrollton's not far. Bike. No, it's right. yeah. Mar Mary <laughs> it's right got there two weeks ago. There you go. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So there no, you go. I, I didn't marry the guy. I'm never mind. I married the guy, and, and never mind. Don't don't Keith. Don't ruin my fantasy. <laughs> Can I have my tagline? Can I have my tagline oh, that sorry. I made up special, right. special yeah, sure. for this episode? Please. I'm waiting. So, before you dip into the eggnog, don't forget to mount your electric hog today <laughs> from RPM Bike Shop <laughs> in Carrollton, Ohio. RPM Bike Shop. Where there you, you go. Okay. To the nog. Very good. <laughs> Can, to the Can I go first, fish? The hog. <laughs> Can I, can I go first? I'm going to put an electro on my balls and you right. get on my hog. <laughs> what, what, what's at the Christmas party? Actually, electric Keith? hog is something that uh, apparently, like, my wife keeps in the nightstand. I'm not allowed to get in that drawer, but electric hog is but something it, hey, I heard That drawer before. makes a lot of noise. <laughs> hey, Jimmy Neutron, calm down. All right. So. <laughs> now, far as dishes. Okay, yeah. so it's it's automatic. You know, you got to start with potato salad or macaroni and cheese. It's just part of the culture. You have no choice. Now, if it's an all-black Christmas party, or mostly, then you know you don't want 10 macaroni and cheeses or 10 uh, potato salads. So we have a protocol. We find out who is the oldest person coming to the party, and therefore the potato salad falls on them. Then you have to come mm. up with something else. So now, that's, that's why quickly, is that? Why quick, do they get? Yeah, so, I was about to have that. A, is it is uh, because they're going to do it the best? Yeah, they're going like, to do it because the right they're way. older. Yeah, you don't okay. want these new age young cooks throwing in stuff they got off the internet. You want old potato school salad. potato salad. You want old school <laughs> potato salad. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. Gotcha. You don't need potato salad with marmalade in it, you know, because yeah. you know Google said it or the View said it or something like that. You want grandma's potato salad. Yeah, that's exactly right. So, right. Uh, now Christmas songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got two that are just my favorite, um, my oldest favorite of all time, um, is, uh, Blue Christmas by Elvis. Sure. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I should have you known you were going to come up with that yeah. one. I, I actually got to perform that a couple weeks ago at the Christmas show I was in. Um, just a great, 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 great song, man. Just when it starts off with that, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's just the best opening line ever. Uh, but my favorite Christmas song of all time, um, I've heard different versions of it, but nobody did it better than Mariah Carey on her famous Christmas album of 20 years ago. Um, but Oh Holy Night, to me, is just mm. the most amazing Christmas song ever. I've never heard her version before. Oh, my God. Listen, when we get up the show, Google it, dude. It'll blow okay. your mind. Because that's my favorite blow Christmas song. Your, yeah, it will blow your mind. Okay. Uh, just brilliant. I worked at Quonset Hut when that album came out. And we couldn't keep it in the store. They were coming in every day looking for that album, uh, mostly because of that song. So, hmm, nice. Quanton Hut was a store was, that sold how dare yes. I was records. Explain that to me. Good name. And, yes. and when CDs he said and it, tapes. I actually I was thinking when I was a kid, I was like, that was my dream job. When I walked into a Quanton Hut, I was like, I'm going to work here someday. It was that the was greatest job. Dream. It was it the was... greatest job ever, except you didn't make any money. But it was Every time, ever. to this day, when I smell incense of any kind, I'm just like, yes. hot. it's like, mm -hmm. that's exactly what it's like. Yeah. Every hour, incense. Every hour, everybody was in charge of music. Yes. Right? So I could play my music for a whole hour through the store. So, you know, I was blasting the Queens right in the face morning for a whole hour. You know, yeah. you could smoke while you're standing up, eat while you're standing up. You can do anything in that store. It was great. So nice. anyway, uh, as far as Christmas shows, I need to see the year without a Santa Claus. 
I need to see mm-hmm. Rudolph. And I never ever saw uh It's a Wonderful Life until what? five years oh, wait, oh, okay. hold on. Okay. Five years ago when I got to perform what they call Foley work. Foley work is when mm-hmm. back in the day when they did shows over the radio. They didn't have all the sound effects and the cues, or whatever. They had people actually in there with a table full of items making the sounds, you know. So they had a pair of shoes on a piece of wood if somebody was walking or whatever. And I got to do the fully work for the radio version of It's a Wonderful Life. Did it for several years. And uh, it was an amazing job. We had a, a tray with cornflakes in it, and we had to run our feet across it or the shoes across it to emulate crackling on snow. Uh, and I just fell in love with the story. Went ahead and watched the movie. I just watched it last week. I'll probably watch it again. Absolutely love it. So, on snow, uh, and I just fell in love with the story. Went ahead and watched the movie. I just watched it last week. I'll probably watch it again. Absolutely love it. So that's me. Very good. Excellent. Good. Yeah, nice. actually, not a lot of people know, but um, Nick. Uh, has done Foley work. He did uh, many um, uh, Linda Lovelace's uh, Foley work for, his, <laughs> for her movies. Yep. Yeah. Did this did this a lot of the sounds I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. a good gig, man. It's a good gig. Mm-hmm. If yep. you can get it. Yep. All right, so uh, Nick, why don't we go to you next? So just you can do yeah. like Keith did. You can mention a few things. Just, just, just yeah. whatever. Just what are some of the stuff you're bringing? Well, after I safely store my electric bike in the driveway from our uh-huh. bike shop, I will make my way to the inside, uh, and there I will be holding a tray of. So this is kind of a, a funny story, and I'll keep it brief here. All my life, there's these specific cookies, right? We're Hungarian, German, whatever. We got these cookies. We always called them Roshkis. At least that's what my mom called them. Well, when I Googled Roshki cookies today to find out exactly how to explain them to you, if, they're, if, if you're not familiar, we've been calling them the wrong shit for like all these years. <laughs> Roshki oh. cookies are those little cookies that look like somebody ran over a burrito and they've got fruit in the middle. Like yeah. it's a flat, like fold over burrito mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Those are awful. What we always called Roshkis no, no. are. Those are Klotchkis. Klotchkis? Yes, yeah, those are Klotchkis. Yes, those are my favorite. I eat them all the time. Those okay, so they're good. I like them. They got powdered yes. sugar on top and stuff. Usually, sometimes people put powdered sugar and sprinkle them on top. No, the, but the ones with nothing on top and cream cheese, the absolute best. Okay, okay. What I'm talking about apparently are called Keefleys. They're like these little crescent buttered, like roll over things Keith inside. In my mouth any day. <laughs> inside, they've got like a fruit paste kind of thing, and they got walnuts usually like on top. They're like a, apparently they're like a Polish in, in origin, like type mm. of Christmas cookie. Mm. Um, but I don't know if you guys ever had them. Actually, I will. I will uh, text a picture to you guys and pass yeah. it along once I see Please them this do. year. My mom always makes them, but they're fantastic. Um, so that would be what I would bring because that's just not something I love my, you know, frosted sugar cookies and all that stuff. But those are like kind of something that are quintessential to me from childhood. And that's always been around my family. So I would definitely have some of that. Uh, Keith kind of took my, uh, blue Christmas Elvis. Uh, you know, that's definitely up there. So I'll tell you what, I'll pivot to, uh, Santa, bring my baby back. Uh, Santa bring my baby back to me from the same album, Elvis yeah. Presley Christmas album. Got to keep Elvis in there. I mentioned on a prior episode, my grandmother who I lost this year, very close with, massive Elvis fan. Uh, she had the different Elvis Christmas ornaments on the tree that had the buttons, and they would sing the different songs. So Santa bring my baby back was was another one of those. And also, I'm I got to bring another song to play just because I got to go a little old school. And I don't want to say new school because we're still talking like '80s here. But one of my favorite Christmas songs by one of my favorite bands. Period. Uh, uh, the Ramones had a song called Merry Christmas. I don't want to fight tonight. I love it. It's an up-tempo kind of punk Christmas song. It's, you know, definitely got the bells in the background, the spirit of Christmas, but it's got that upbeat punk kind of rhythm to it. So, uh, probably bring those two songs to share with the group. Uh, when I head on over to the movie room, it's tough, man. It's really tough because there's so many classics this time of year. Year Without a Santa Claus is definitely one of them. Like, yeah. love the Snow Miser, Heat Miser, all that stuff. A new age one that I really enjoy was the Christmas Chronicles. But if I have to narrow it down, if I have to narrow it down to just one, might just have to be Jingle All the Way because it's mm. my favorite movie of all time, bar none. <laughs> Christmas I would have been aside, disappointed if you it didn't is my say that. Favorite. It's always <laughs> fucking turbo time. It's always turbo time, especially at Christmas time. Mm. So, Jingle All the Way, I bring to share with the group, of course. Um, Eggnog is another staple 
uh, of Christmas time. I feel like you got to have the eggnogs. I know it's it's a very polarizing topic, right? People either love eggnog or they hate it. I love it. It's the only mm-hmm. time of year I think people drink it. So I feel like you might as well make count. You put some whiskey in there, some bourbon, mm-hmm. whatever you like. Just mix it up in I there. Hate and it. Hate it. You hate it? Yeah. Just yeah. eggnog. Like, what if you drink just eggnog without any, like, you just eggnog, you don't like the taste? No, I don't like eggnog, period. You know the best like, place for eggnog? What's that? Down, Where's that? The down, trash. Down the, down the, down the drain. Oh, no. We <laughs> I don't like I'm everybody's an eggnog drink anything eggnog. anything called nog. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> drink that thick, juicy nog. No. Yes. Who wants yeah, to drink I'm with some... you. <laughs> no. Nobody likes eggnog? I like eggnog. Yeah, I like eggnog. You like eggnog. Of course, yeah. Brian likes eggnog. Likes eggnog. Yes. That's Turkey right. Hill, so, by the way, Turkey Hill ice cream. They, they make an eggnog ice cream that comes out every ooh. year. So good. I bet that is good. Oh, He's just a fan good. of having white stuff caught in his beard. Leave him alone. <laughs> 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 yep, so that, that is my Christmas vibe. That's that's what I'm bringing yeah. to the party. That's what I want to eat. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to listen to. And, of course, if you find Gentleman Minus Dean were there, that would be a lovely time as well. Yeah, so I think I'm kidding. I think of course I, I want Dean at my own. fucking party. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Skinner, what do you got? Well, just like with uh, Nick... He took our thunder with blue Christmas. That's just classic yeah. Christmas. That's going to come to the table. So if I got to yes. pivot, I'm going to pivot to another classic. It's called Christmas and Dixie by the band Alabama. Oh, yeah. It's a country oh, wow. classic. And go back even further to 1946 for Bing Crosby and White Christmas. Mm-hmm. There, yes. too, yeah. is another song that I will listen to over and over again. He's also in a movie called White Christmas, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. That takes me into the movies. I watch it every year with my mom till she died, which was seven years ago on her birthday, December 10th. There, there's no black people in it. No, there isn't. <laughs> You're right. It's called White the Christmas. Train, the, tra- the train, everything arrives on time. Did the name it of the movie uh, give it away? <laughs> the show starts Pretty on much. time. The train arrives on time. <laughs> But with my mom, we watch that every single year. I come over. But the Christmas basketball game was fourteen to three. Right. <laughs> Here I am trying to be sentimental, and he's throwing freaking jokes sorry, about black Skinner. black guys. <laughs> no, it's okay. But wait, Christmas! If you've never seen the movie, Skinner, it's Skinner, I me. respect you. Don't worry about these two fools. Thank you. I appreciate I respect that. You. <laughs> Thanks, team. If you're not watching White Christmas, then you got to watch Bad Santa. I mean, we're going to go from one uh, to the other. Oh, yeah. Bad that's, Santa. A good that's always when I wrap presents, I have to watch that movie. If you yeah. haven't seen the second one, it's not as good that's as the first. Terrible, but it's horrible. freaking hilarious. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, into that, go back to us being kids, Brian and Keith. Mm-hmm. We used to wait every single year for Yogi Bear Christmas. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Every Man. single year, I remember as a I kid, I couldn't that. wait. I've seen that that was on every night. On, I whether it was ABC or NBC, it was Hold on, on for was what, that on the radio? Seven days straight. I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you on the radio because there was no TV back then? He's trying. Yeah, right. yeah. very funny. But, Dean. Think, <laughs> but it was a one-hour special, and they played it, and it was seven days. This thing was on, and it was just the greatest thing as a kid. Yeah. And uh, man, wow, man. what else we got here? Oh, Christmas dinner. I'm bringing Christmas dinner. I'm going to bring a strawberry rhubarb pie because there's no other oh, no better pie yeah. than strawberry yeah. rhubarb. That's, that's right. what's that's what's yeah. coming. Yeah. Nice. No, Dean, we gathered at the town hall for the reading. <laughs> yes. yes, that's right. <laughs> hey, I got to say something real quick. I was thinking about when I saw the question about uh, traditions, I was like, wow, we don't have any Christmas tradition. Uh, in my family. And I take that back. I just thought of one. And there's one, and it's not just me, but it's like mostly I, all black people. Um, it goes along with the music. All gather around and sing This Christmas by Donnie Hathaway. Hmm. It, it just got adopted as like the, the black Christmas song um, since I was a little kid. That this, it's called This Christmas? That's by Donnie Hathaway. Every black family gets together and sings Plays and sings that this song. Christmas this Christmas will be, be a very, a very special Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I know yeah. that song. Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Well, Chris Brown remade it, but he ain't Donnie yeah. Hathaway. Yeah. Well, there was a sure. movie. Yeah, the movie with Chris Brown in it, and Idris Elba was in it, and yeah, yeah. Was, uh, yeah, that was a good movie. I went and saw that in the theater actually. Oh, movie. okay. Just made me think of that when we were talking about nice. songs and traditions. Well, Very luckily, good. luckily, starting today. 
you know, as you, you guys out there are listening to this, <clears throat> this is now going to be your Christmas, um, you know, every tradition. year. This is tradition. This, yes. this is what you will do every year. Listen to the combined oh, Christmas spectacular <laughs> there there now, every year, and you will look forward to it. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yep. So beyond the beyond that the Patreon the version of this is someday Dean. So what what else are you what are you bringing? Oh yeah, where we all do the Winnie the Pooh thing. Yeah. yeah. What I have actually <laughs> is I'm gonna walk in the door. I know right it's... where I'm gonna stick those antlers. <laughs> don't don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> so so I'm gonna walk in the door with a big old pot of green bean casserole. They're going to say weed shit. <laughs> that's in the pocket. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, trust me, that, that's at the end of the night. With whoever's left kind of sit out back. Green yeah. bean casserole. You're the guy that gives socks for Christmas, aren't you? <laughs> and appreciates them because I enjoy a comfy gift. Come on, green bean casserole is amazing. I have up until this year. I don't think I knew how many people were against green bean casserole. I just thought it was a given. I loved, loved it. it. I just, that at a party, though, dude. I, that's the first thing I go to is a green bean casserole. Mm. And he then, wore the, his the, mustard yellow oh, cardigan to this party, so of course he brought <laughs> green bean fucking casserole. To the <laughs> party. Dean goes don't, to Christmas don't. parties at the nursing home. <laughs> 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 Nick, Nick, first of all, green, green is an ugly color on you, sir. <laughs> you jealous, jealous little man. So, yes, green bean casserole. And the other thing I'm bringing is my father used to make, and he still does, it's uh, salami roll-ups. You take the, little, oh, the salamis, yeah. you mm-hmm. easily, you put cream cheese in it, just roll it up. The combination yep. of the two is amazing. I ate forty of them shits at Thanksgiving. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't had that in a while. That yeah, it does sound. It good. is so good. So that's yeah. that's my that's what mm-hmm. I'm bringing to the party. Um, right. And no, then I'm, just, uh, no, don't invite D. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even need my He's food choice to make that to make that decision. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go into the next room and the movie I'm gonna watch. And you guys have already said it, but it's a wonderful. Ernest life. saves Christmas. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful life. Actually, I uh Megan and I have tickets on the uh, next week um on the 18th which makes me think that uh, we have to check That's scheduling. Sunday. Oh, okay, good. Um so the but we have, town you're going to? Yep. They're they're it's they're Wednesday. playing. They're they're We're yeah, doing it we Wednesday. Have, we have we got tickets it. for Wednesday. We Wednesday. will be there with you. Done. Oh, yeah. cool. Where? I didn't, you didn't say Tinseltown. 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 They're playing it on the big screen, and we got tickets to see It's a Wonderful okay. Life. I have to see if there's still tickets for that left. You should. There might be a few seats left to go online. Absolutely. I'll yeah. check that out. Anyways, go ahead. It's a Wonderful Life. Well, shit. Remember when we did, when we all went to see um, Poltergeist? It, it, right. There was tickets available. So sure, sure, sure. I'm just yeah. saying is you, you, you could check, and I, I yeah, think you'll be fine. I'll take a look. And then on uh, my music, if I'm going over to the record player, I am putting on Nat King Cole, uh, Oh Holy Night. Oh, um, man. Yeah. Hell, I'm putting on the whole Christmas album of Nat King Cole. To yep. me, he is the ultimate um, Christmas album for me. I, I and Next to my record player, I have at least five, six different Christmas albums. I got to hear this version of that song. From from that King, it is the best. It's haunting. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's All amazing. Right, I'll listen to that. You listen to Mariah's. I'm telling you to bust your head. And, and I'll tell you another one. It's it's a sleeper. Oh, holy night, Kenny Rogers. Mm. Oh, if you if you like that twang and I that love, country, I love that, Kenny Rogers. Yeah, uh, Kenny Rogers. I got to see Kenny Rogers, uh, his like third to last concert. Before he died, it, oh, it, I just thought he made chicken. Oh, he sings too. No, he sings too. It's beautiful too. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 don't gonna, you don't know what you're going to get with him because he's the gambler. So you that's know. true. That's true. So, other than that, with the music, where what other rooms am I going into, gentlemen? Um, the movie room. The movie. Well, I already did. The, the it's a Wonderful Life. That's oh, what that's I'm right. playing. Okay. So I right. uh, like like mine. Okay. Right. Other than the devil's mistletoe that we smoke later, um, 
<laughs> the devil's mistletoe. You like I that? like that. It just came to, came to me right there. I love it. That's uh -huh. the one great thing you've ever wow. said. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty proud of that that's, one. Yeah, I'm going to go out in the high, and that's, that's, that's what I got. That's it. That's it. Copyright that sucker quick. That's right. The devil's mistletoe. <laughs> yes. All right. A couple of things I got here, guys. So uh, Christmas time, I like to have ham. Give me a nice ham. Really? With gravy. Maybe some. I never had the ham gravy. Still, you. Mm. Oh, this is I, I should have said it. Slacking. I, I should have yeah. done that. Yeah. Uh, and then cheesy potatoes. So yeah. ham, yes, with the, with the, the cheesy like potatoes the burnt on the top and the crusty yeah, like little the ones. Yeah, like type deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my parents did mm. that every every year. My mom still does that today. It's simple, but it's that's there was a Christmas tradition was cheesy potatoes, ham, and then all the sides and all. And that when that stuff. cheese got on the the ham pieces too, like yeah. that flavor. Oh, oh yeah. Heck yeah, yeah. He's, he's take the ham and scoop up the rest of the mm -hmm. cheese on the plate and stuff. Yeah, good Absolutely. stuff. I'll be back in ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, don't it? Forget pork. I'm going to go masturbate to that. <laughs> my grandparents always had this tub of sugar cookies that they would put out, and we'd go, go over there at Christmas evening. So the grandparents that lived here, my mom's mm -hmm. parents, and I never knew what they were. I think what they were were tasty cake cookies, and they still make them today <laughs> in the same type of tub. It's like the sugar cookies and the stars. Oh, and stuff. Is it the blue yeah, tin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not a tin. It's like a it's like a cardboard uh plastic it looks like a tin, but it's a, it's like a paper tin, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It, it's like a it's like a paper tub of cookies with a little window and stuff in it. Man, my mom got those surprised me a couple years ago at Christmas time because I was trying to describe what they were. He was, she just found them at Acme and I'm like, these are them. I think it was nice. the same. So it just takes me back to just to grandparents house and you know all that type of stuff just great great cookies um christmas songs i mean you guys mentioned a couple already blue christmas is also on my list with elvis one of my favorites of all time certainly i think my favorite christmas song my, my, well my favorite christmas song period is have yourself a merry little christmas i love that i just love it you know, yeah. it's very uplifting optimistic and all that Bing Bing Crosby, Crosby. right Yes, yeah. his version of that. Judy Garland's is right there, though. It's like she, it's yeah. like right with him. But the Bing Crosby version. That is whole just, album of Bing Crosby's yeah. Christmas is amazing. Can I can say this probably about any song, but like Michael Bublé does an incredible job. And like sure. Michael Bublé every unfair. Christmas song, like is but right. But I mean, like he's it's like, like cheat uh, code for Christmas songs, Who's the other like, guy? Uh, Groban. Um, Josh Groban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's like saying, oh, you should hear his version. Of course, their right. versions yeah. are amazing. I was trying to think. I'm like, what other voice do I hear when I hear that song? And it's and it's Bublé, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's that one is that, that that's up there, and then there's there's so many I could name here. I love the Christmas Waltz by Frank Sinatra. That version mm. of Christmas yeah. Waltz is just beautiful. And then, uh, you know, New Year's is right there too. So all Lang Syne, there's so many versions of that, right? But the yeah. classic, classic, classic Guy Lombardo Orchestra. That is that song to me. It's just an instrumental. That reminds me of my grandparents, you know, that's staying up late here on New Year's Eve, watching Guy Lombardo. He he televised that for years and years and years. It just makes me think of them as well. All kinds of songs I could name, but those are some that stand out for me. As far as TV shows, uh, you guys mentioned a couple already, but every year I have to Alf watch Christmas. Alf? No. <laughs> no. Santa Claus is coming to town. The story of Santa Claus, how he came to be, the old Rankin Bass. Year without a Santa Claus. You already mentioned that too with the Heat Miser, Cold Might Awesome. The songs, just great. Yep. Mrs. Claus, fantastic. Uh, the original, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The 30 minute special with Boris Karloff mm -hmm. narrating. Fantastic. Just a great story to be, anyways. And then. In my movies, it's not Christmas time until I watch. You know, so it's Christmas Vacation, mm -hmm. right? Just love yeah. It. yeah. You know, at, the, at the end of the day, it's a guy trying to make a nice Christmas for his family. Love it. So, you know, especially with having 
children. It changes your whole perspective. You see, you become Clark Griswold over the years. Yeah, would I be you know. That's a good point. <laughs> sure. You <laughs> are, Ed. There's nobody better fit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, Miracle on 34th Street. I watched that the other night. Just, oh, know, yeah. I have to watch right. that every year. You know, just fantastic. It's uh, also, it's a wonderful life on there. Bad Santa, Nick, you mentioned it too. I, I do the mm-hmm. same thing. I wrap presents and watch Bad Santa. It's my little tradition for myself. I'm not going to, yep. I don't expect anybody to watch that movie with me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's my really. thing. Yeah. It's, <laughs> but I just, there, just my little do you remember? We'll get together and wrap Santa. gifts and watch that movie. I like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Remember the, the, the poster for Bad Santa? Yeah. <laughs> what about it? I want to redo the the poster for Bad Santa and with, and with us. Yeah, you as Santa Claus, Nick yeah. obviously is the elf, and I sure. want to be the sexy girl in the background. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah we can spend, uh, Christmas like a drunk Millie Bob Thornton violating somebody's back door in a <laughs> dr- yeah. dr- dressing room. Yeah, that's very Christmas, you guys. Yeah, of, all right, the Christmas, yeah. of all the Christmas movie quotes. You're not going to shit right for a week. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's beautiful. That's that's up there. You you got the, you know, in Miracle 34th Street, when when the guy plays Santa says, you know, Christmas is not, it's it's a frame of mind. Yeah. That's a great one. And the Billy Bob Thornton. You're not going to shit, gonna right, shit for right for a week. Yeah. yeah. And it's how, how it's incredible is John Ritter that, you know, I'm no censor, <laughs> but what a man right. does in the it women's plus great. size dressing room <laughs> is, is his so business. I don't it agree with so the Clinton good. impeachment, you know, but um, this is just with children. Yeah. I love Fantastic. It. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that's and, a great one. And the Billy Bob and, Thornton. You're not going to. You ain't going to shit, gonna right, shit right for me. Yeah. Yeah. And it's how a, how incredible is John Ritter that you know I'm no censor, <laughs> but what a man right. does in the it women's plus great. size dressing room <laughs> is his so business. I don't it agree with so the Clinton good. impeachment, you know, but um, this is just with children. Yeah. I love Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and then Elf has made my list now every year for years. I, when I first saw that movie, I thought it was kind of like a goofy, dumb movie. Will Ferrell was being too Elf. Oh yeah, I love Elf. Now it's become just a tradition, and I love it. Just, yep. yeah. Anyway, and Die Hard also. Watch it. Oh well, sure, of course. Uh, yeah. And what the, what do I what did I forget here? I think that's 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 it. I, I kind of jingle I all the everything. way is the one no, you didn't that, say. He didn't well, forget that no. at all. <laughs> no, well, well, fellas, bar made it snow. Yeah. There is one now, movie I'm surprised none of us had said. Okay, that's okay. Jim Carrey's version of The Grinch. That is a good one. Yeah, I've never you know seen what? it. Yeah, really? You've not seen Jim Carrey's no. version? Oh, you gotta watch no. it, dude. Oh, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not Phenomenal. against it. I just, it's not, it, it, it's one that just never came on my uh, radar. Yeah. Yeah. His portrayal of the Grinch is okay. spot on. It's absolutely yeah. great. Actually, when I yeah. think of the three, the main three Grinch movies that I think, the, they made a new one back in 20, I don't the know. Cartoon one? 16 yeah, or whatever. Which, yeah. Right. yeah, which was not right. bad. Oh, right, right. And then yeah. the original one and the, like, when I, uh, that's kind of just because I think it was maybe my era of, like, you know, when it came out, but, like, I think of that one primarily, that Jim Carrey one, and it is very good. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. Yeah, the visuals and that everything was was pretty good. That, that's a movie that Peyton got turned on to when she was a very little kid. So mm-hmm. we would watch that movie repeatedly. It didn't matter what it wasn't Christmas time necessarily. She just loved that movie. So that movie always makes me think of a little 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 tot. Peyton running around watching that movie. She still likes it to this day. Matter of fact, I remember yeah. last Christmas I gave her a copy of that. She didn't own one. I, I got her a copy of The Grinch so she can watch it herself, whatever she wants to on, on DVD. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. Anything I'd be re- guys, re- real quick. Oh, I just, and, and I think I've mentioned it last year or whatever, mm-hmm. but um, one of my favorite quotes it's from Saturday Night Live Weekend Update. Kevin Nealon looks at the camera and says, uh, Kenny G has a new album out. Happy birthday, Jesus. I hope you like crap. <laughs> That's, good. That's good. But again, I love Kenny G. I love that, you know, he's an amazing uh, artist, but it, it's still a funny joke. I, I yeah. love that. Here, Dave. Hey, I right, did have right. one more question, by the way. So, you know, Dina, you mentioned you just saw Violet Night. So, Violet Night is obviously yes. a new movie. Yes. And now that's something that's newer that's. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of stuff we've mentioned is I stuff from the that 80s. Now. And, and be, right. So is there anything newer, guys, over the last few oh, years yeah, where it may not may not be quite as known 
that you got turned on to that sort of now become something that you work into your uh, your traditions now? So whether it be a movie or a yeah. show or something like that, Nick, what do you got? I've, an easy one for me. This is a layup. Uh, Christmas Chronicles with Kurt Russell as Santa Claus. Sure. We've talked about it. It's, it's uh, good. The first one. The second one kind of sucked, Crap. I think. But the first one was so good. You know, yeah. Goldie Hawn, Mrs. Claus at the end. And everything was just, it was a really heartfelt story. It was really cool. It was modern. And, I mean, Kurt Russell, fuck, you can put that guy in anything. And, I mean, I'm going to watch it. But he's an incredible Santa Claus. And, like, it was just, yeah. that's, that's. I think it was 2016 or something like that that it came out, 2017. And that's when one he, that, like, we have now watched every single year. My kids love it. Yeah. We all love it. It's a good one. That that's scene when they're locked up and they do the, the they do the song. It's that Christmas, scene the Elvis is Christmas absolute, time. Pretty yeah. Yes, that yeah. is absolutely incredible scene. Yeah. Um, they got uh, Springsteen's guitar player in there, too, playing the guitar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that is very that's cool. cool. That's a good one. Keith, you have a newer newer thing that, or all your stuff is all older, yeah, traditional all, type all stuff. old stuff. Haven't seen anything new uh, that it caught my eye. So, okay, I got uh, one that's, that's not necessarily uh, new, but um, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, let me, yeah, a four president, nineteen seventy five, four president, uh, starring L- Linda Lovelace. Um, every time around this year. Why has like, Lovelace been nice. mentioned in this show like several times? You started it <laughs> earlier. I'm just doing it. callbacks, brother. <laughs> I <know it>. <laughs> <laughs> Got him all revved up. Now here don't, we go. I, don't, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> don't call up porn stars and not expect oh, yeah, me to keep yeah, it going. I just got one show. Uh, uh, Pablo Escobar, Make It Snow. Yeah, that was, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good show. <laughs> the Miracle of Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Skinner, do you have anything newer that's uh, kind of become become a tradition over the last few years? No, nothing's really come out that's struck you know struck our fancy. I guess a better, lack of a better phrase, but Violent Night is definitely one that I want to go check out. You guys have there's to a, see it. There's another one with the Grinch. The Grinch is supposed to be this evil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. um, oh my god! It, movie. It's called it's called your yes. mean one. The mean yeah, one. The mean, yeah. the mean one. And that's yeah. another one I want to check out. So yeah, those might that. be my. Those might be my new favorites. Oh my uh, god! If they're I, if they're that good, I watched uh, Krampus uh, this year. My my son had me watch it, and again, it's it's silly. It's Krampus. yeah. It, it, I mean, it is what it is. It's it wasn't trying to take itself too seriously, but it's a fun horror type Christmas movie. It, it was again. I don't know if I'll watch it again, but it was fun. Did you guys right. see? Uh... Ho, 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 the Kardashian documentary. No, just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) I got two newer ones for you guys you should check out if you have not already. So last year, uh, 8-Bit Christmas. Okay, I've seen that on HBO. Yep. Uh, Yeah, so very, very good. It's a story of a young kid. So Neil Patrick Harris tells a story of how he got his first Nintendo uh, yeah, yeah, I was going, but it, it turns out to be, I won't spoil it, but a very moving story between a, a father and son. So mm-hmm. eight, eight bit Christmas, check that out. And also on Netflix in 2019, Claus, K L A U S. So Claus, yeah, oh, yeah. Claus is voiced by JK Simmons. It's good. Uh, and uh, Norm MacDonald is in this one of his last great roles. He's terrific in this movie. It's like a it's a story of how Santa Claus uh, came to be. It's like an all it's like a just a oh, okay. interesting take on how Santa Claus came to be. So animated, the animation is is beautiful. I think it won an Academy or was at least an up for Academy Award or something like that. Okay, Netflix, but you can find it out there. So definitely family viewing worth a watch for sure if you're not seeing either one of those good you know you that, can I mention uh you talk about new things uh nothing new that i like but can i mention something new that i don't like sure my sister sits and watches. you're gonna say me aren't you no 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 do you a christmas hat no my sister, you're, not, you're not new you're you're 40 something so you're not necessarily <laughs> that's new true anymore. he's yeah. new to I, him my sister's just and watch Lifetime like for all day long, and they got all these Lifetime mm-hmm. shows and movies, and I'll catch 20, 30 minutes of it if I'm in there. They're the corniest <laughs> crap I've ever seen in my life. I'm watching they, them for the first time this year. Everybody in the town is uh, uh, 160 pounds or under. 
You know, everybody's beautiful. Everybody <laughs> has new clothes on. Wherever they live is like to spotless clean. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's like, what is it's this? It's always a yeah. rustic barn situation. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Kind of country, but modern at the same exactly. time. Exactly. Yeah. This woman who's not quite pretty, but better than cute. You know, right. Falls in love yep. with the stranger. And every in every of the male love interest either has a beard or a good five o'clock shadow. Yeah, yeah, you're right, yep. right. He's very rustic. And they're, and they're brunette. And male. Yep, yeah. That I mean, there's a there's a type. I hate those movies. I just want to throw up. They're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we I've said it on the on past episodes. Uh, Megan and I are watching them for the first time this year. We get, you know, we sit there together, and it's almost like a mystery uh, mystery science theater three thousand, you know, type yeah. feel where we it's, you're just making fun of them, enjoying right. it, having fun with them. But yeah, we've we've bad. seen quite a few so far, cool, and they're awful. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, one night, if we can work it in somewhere, you mentioned Mystery Science Theater 3000. I have mm -hmm. a Mystery Science Theater 3000 box set. There's, there's tons of them out there. It's but one, so of the ones, good. one of the ones I have, which you can find on streaming now, too, frankly, is Santa Claus. So it's the Mystery Science Theater doing Santa Claus. It's a story of Santa Claus fights the devil. There you go. <laughs> I have a better, I have it, a better it is, idea. It is fantastically horrible, fun. Yeah, that might be something where you have a, a maybe something from your trip to Michigan, Nick, and just sort yeah. of and watch that if you can work it in somewhere yet yeah, before New Year. Absolutely, that would be yeah. a fun evening for sure. Hey, go you ahead. go to Michigan, you stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, believe me. I absolutely love it there. Hey. Nick likes the laws up there, if you know. My, my yeah. light bulb just went off. We should I, do I like, a mystery like science the theater. Well. We should watch a movie yeah. and crack on it and film it, record it. But sure. Yeah, that would be, be awesome. Up. Yeah, yeah, I like that. We could plan. We'll coordinate. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Any other traditions? Anything else, guys? You want to bring to the party? I know it's getting kind of late here. What? Uh, anything else? Anybody wants to mention? We take my dad uh, money for the commissary. Uh, That's a nice yeah, tradition. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. One day, uh, one day he'll join for that uh, ham dinner, perhaps. And yeah. Bring the potato salad. Well, I did want to ask, um, uh, mm -hmm. Porter Skinner, have you guys ever heard of ham gravy? Ham gravy. Ha ham, ham gravy. gravy. Oh, ham I've gravy. Been, I've That's never not heard of butter. it. I've never That's heard of it. Uh, Skinner, so you've heard of it? Ham gravy. It's like oh, a sweeter hey. gravy made from the juice yes, of the ham. It's it's Thank great you. stuff. Wow. Thank it's you. New to, new to me. But it's I a guess, white man's. It's it's a white thing. You wouldn't understand. I, I guess I. <laughs> I caught on. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you no but everything, everything everything come out of your mouth skin is a white thing, dude. I don't I don't, I don't need a clue. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, if you play your way, cards right, something's going into his mouth might be black. <laughs> 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 all that, all that rapping you do, Skinner, yeah, is thrown off. You know what? Right? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so, right, well, Keith, well, we're thinking about it. Next please, time, Keith. the Elvis impersonator is at the Barber and Moose. Nick's got to go with us. If oh, he's yeah. an Elvis fan, like he said. Oh yeah, yeah, fellas. I took him to the Barber and Moose, so it was an Elvis impersonator, and the old, the blue hairs that were in the audience. I was staring more at Keith belting out every single note to every song than they were and watching every single him. word. <laughs> yes, they were watching him more than they were watching the entertainer nice. that was up front. Nice. Yeah, uh, Lynn and oh. uh, Lynn and Mike were were at that show with the Barbara okay. Moose. Oh, okay, yeah. that was like he was awesome. He was good. He yeah, he needs a better, you know, bigger presentation. Better was it Mike Albert, the guy that used to always be at the? Uh, no, at the no, lake? no, 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 no. But what I said, Mike, Mike and Lynn, uh, uh, Megan's uh, mom and yeah, her, her husband. Um, he it's the Elvis impersonator is Mike's one of Mike's friends. Oh, oh okay. wow! Okay. And, and they were yeah. at that show at the Moose just a bit ago awesome. with him. Oh, very good. Yeah, it was Excellent. early October, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Nice. Small All right, world. well, brothers, I think, I think we started our again another 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 Christmas tradition. Yes, hey, Dean said earlier. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll run it by Dean and see if it's okay. But yeah, yeah, we'll we'll run it past to get the <laughs> we'll check all the names of the segments and all that prior next time. Yeah, so we don't absolutely. get scolded on the air. 
So we'll make sure we do that. Um, I'll let you know if I approve or not. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, if we have any announcements, do, Keith, do you have any announcements? Down deal. Yes, thank yes, you. I do. Go actually, ahead, uh, hubba hubba hubba. So, first announcement I want to announce is if you are in the local Akron area on December seventeenth, that's this Saturday, a couple days um, from three p.m. to six p.m. Now, uh, our fourth member uh john coach cooper uh his lovely wife amy uh is not only one of my best friends but a business partner and myself and we've been coming together to help do things for the homeless and whatnot um we have a group called hallie's house and another one here called impact and on december 17th from three to six uh this will be the second annual winter essentials drive for the homeless in the african area uh we're taking in tents, sleeping bags, tarps, winter boots, underwear, socks, hand soaps, flashlights, winter gloves, uh, wheel cards, uh, and one day Metro bus passes. And that is at the Peter Morin Center. Five, um, well, I don't even have an address on here for that. That would be helpful. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, just look it up, Google it. Your I got all these hands so these yeah. underwear, and I don't know where to yeah. take it. All right, well, 361 <laughs> Northeast <laughs> Avenue, Talmadge, Ohio. The Peter Morris Center. Uh, it's a 5013C, but uh, yeah, bring something by. And also, if you're in the Akron area, you're listening, uh, my group, Hallie's House, we're taking coats and hats and gloves. Uh, we're going to be taking to the homeless each weekend now through Christmas uh, up in Hyde Park in downtown Akron. Uh, the gloves should be new. The hat should be new. But if you have a coat sitting around or whatever, hey, get a hold of me. I'll pick it up. Whatever. So that's all I got. All right, Keith, brother. When this nice. when this show airs, it's going to air. We're going to drop this on Monday. Oh, so that's it's be right. Past. That's all right. No, no. But you mentioned that. So where could they find information on Hallie's house to help if people want to help out there okay, after go, the weekend? Go ahead. Go to Facebook and look me up, Keith Porter. Um, you can send me a friend request or a message. The Hallie's House website should have been up uh, a couple weeks ago, but it will be up soon. But you can just message me direct, Keith Porter or Amy Cooper. That's spelled A-I-M-E-E, Cooper, and uh, get in touch with us. We're going to have a really, really big uh, get-together where we are making gift bags for the homeless. And uh, if you're not giving back, you're not living, man. That's the way I look at it. Absolutely. And nice. if you're listening out there, you can also, if you wish, uh, contact the Came from Gen X uh, Facebook page or email. We'll, we'll get you the information you're looking for if you're looking to get involved at all to help help folks out. Yes. Very good. Absolutely. Excellent. That's right. Okay. Keith, you're all a right. good man. You know that? You're a good man. Yeah, Absolutely. I'm just man, let history make this. Cho- no, just <laughs> too much dark <laughs> just, just be a man and let history decide. <laughs> Skinner, any announcements or anything you have, sir? Nope, nope. Just waiting for Christmas for the zoo. The zoo. Anybody, in, Sir, anybody in your house the, sick or pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> no, for the first time in two years. Wow. <laughs> yes. wow. <laughs> Good wow, lord! Yeah. I don't know when I'd say that is, but no. I know, right? Everybody's Either, healthy and nobody's pregnant, so we're good. Either got a, the flu or a boo. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dean, any announcements? Anything, sir? You have? Yeah, actually, I do. I do. I, you know, we don't we don't normally do this, but actually, mm-hmm. I do. Um, I just w- want to say that um, if you see uh, Michael Skinner out in in public and stuff, he really enjoys hugs. So so go up and embrace him. Mm-hmm. He. He won't tell you, and he might pretend that he doesn't like it, but he enjoys you to caress his uh, left butt cheek more than the right, but get both, mm-hmm. but, like, mm-hmm. get the left one, you know, a good, firm one. And look his face. Yeah. Look his face. He likes it. Look his face. Right. And, left, and if a finger left... slips out and goes somewhere, you know, hey. That's yeah, the, life. the left cheek's where the surgery was done, so, yeah, you're absolutely right. Aren't exactly. You? See? <laughs> well, I know. I know. Hey, I'm, yeah. I'm doing the Lord's work here, so. Yeah, there you go. I appreciate that. I know. Good yeah, massage absolutely. parlor. <laughs> let's talk, let's talk off air. <laughs> All right, well, I'll just add before I throw it over to Nick again, brothers. Thank you. 
you know, it's it's a pleasure mm-hmm. again doing doing these shows with you and you know whether we have 10 or 30 or 3000 listeners or whatever it is it's just you know the fact that we all come together and do this every week we've been doing it for years literally both shows yep yep for years that's at, awesome. and you know so which is an amazing commitment on our part frankly cuz not, not a lot of podcasts manage to do that it's hard even just to have a, a phone call with friends every single week on a on a regular basis and we do that true. we do this every every single week and set time aside from all our crazy busy lives ups and downs we still do this together so thank you it is a pleasure i look forward to continuing to do more uh, in, uh, we're, we're, in the we're, new we're year idiots we're close to we are under we are 119 oh, yeah, past 100. this, this oh, will be 120 awesome. for us and this will be 91 yeah. 91 for it came from gen x so it's yeah sometime in february for us yeah it'll be a year in february we'll be doing it came from gen x absolutely so yeah pretty amazing so thank you i want to say thank you guys absolutely love you yeah. guys yep same yep. here and nick thank you guys for coming out yeah absolutely absolutely, absolutely. Any announcements or anything you have sir and then what should Nick well, do the uh, now that we have guests here? So do you have mm. any suggestion? Nick typically does like a outro and some type of character that's sort of become our thing here. So uh, what do you think, Dean? Should we have uh, Skinner, Keith, kind of help? I think they. Should, I the, think they should if if they have an opinion or a suggestion, please. Yeah. As we're both sitting here with deer and head, like, <laughs> well, I, well, I, don't, uh, I, I didn't know think... we did this. <laughs> right. No. You, well, you, go ahead. Well, first of all, uh, oh, that's oh, why Keith 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 was, was not gone. there. Keith, uh, Nick yes. does it when he does the outro and he yes. you know says where to find him. He does it in character a lot of times, mm-hmm. and and I give suggestions on what character he should do. Even if you don't know he can do the character, you give it to him, and he does his best. <laughs> I'll give Maybe him my it, best shot. The worst case scenario, it sounds like Bill Clinton <laughs> when he well, can't do a so character. For it, example, it, it also made sense. they told me to do an outro in Brian before, and it turned mm-hmm. into Barack Obama. Yes. to me. Yeah. And that's so, just so, how it is. So, do you have a suggestion <laughs> of, of of the character Nick should do the outro in? Okay, the show keeps freezing. So, what did you say again? Okay, when Nick does the outro. Nick does the outro in characters. Um, so you can give him any character you want, even if you don't know if he can do it, he'll give it a okay. shot. Worst case is it's awful and it's really funny. Best right. case is he's good at it and it's super funny. So Okay. And and we normally stick Throw it to at me. Yeah, we something we topical do we usually so, yeah, do, but it doesn't happen. Something to be, that we whatever. may have talked about, but sometimes you can just be wild and just say, Oh, I'd like to hear him do this voice. Okay, well, to honor Skinner, how about talking about uh giving to the homeless this christmas and the voice of nicholas cage oh nick cage <laughs> okay. there you go wow i, I ooh, was thinking I just, nick cage that's fine when you see you said honor i'm like oh yeah. a good friend all right good here's friend. the thing i would, I would have said luke cage but ain't no brothers allowed <laughs> for here so I, i'll go with nick cage yes <laughs> Actually, right, Luke Cage it. might be funny, but like might not be appropriate for him. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Where my money next to you. <laughs> All right, Keith, I really respect your decision there. I think you did a great pick by having me do Nick Cage. Uh, I think giving to the homeless this time of year is really commendable and fantastic. Along with that, I think another fantastic and commendable thing is to go ahead and like, subscribe, rate, and review convincing idiots and it came from gen x that's right this season if you're in the spirit of giving i think you should go on over to our link tree it's l-i-n-k-t-r-e-e just go ahead and google it it's right there for you go ahead and search for convincing idiots link tree and it came from gen x link tree (laughs) there let me tell you you're gonna find all kinds of really great stuff there, okay? It's going to be fantastic. It's going to blow your mind, okay? You're not going to fucking believe it. It's going to be great. And then you can also head on over to our websites. That is uh, uh, convincingidiots.wordpress.com. And hey, guess what? It came from genx.wordpress.com. You can also find us on, bam, Boss Code Media. <laughs> we're right there for you all the time. 
We're right there. Dez is gonna hook you up. It's gonna be great. It's gonna blow your mind. Fill you with Christmas spirit. Everything you need right there for you. So, for this joint episode of Convincing Idiots, and it came from Gen X, I am Millennial Nick Cage. I am Zennial, they call Dean. I'm Brian, Gen X. I'm hey, um, Skinner, Gen X. And I'm Porter, Gen X. Nick, you forgot to hit the fingers. Make sure you subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, alright? Get in there! Yeah, don't be afraid, get it! Awesome. Have we convinced you to join us for another merry season of both It Came From Gen X and Convincing Idiots? Yes, I'm, I'm looking to be Come adopted. On. Adopt it if anybody's interested. Get me up on the uh, Facebook dating app. <laughs> I don't care how old you are. <laughs> hey, did you like that video? You know you did, and we know you did. So stop screwing around and go like that video, subscribe to our channel, and join us for some more. Thank you for checking out this week, Commencing Idiots and, uh, commi- uh, the... Nope. Fuck, fuck. nope. That boy is smooth. Fuck, no. <laughs> Shit. That was, that was smooth as a baby's ass. Mm-hmm. I could feel the bumps in every bone in my body as we went over the fuck. it's, it's mm-hmm. fucking... That boy is smooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a Texas highway. <laughs> <laughs> That was as bumpy as Nick with hemorrhoids. All right.